Hi guys, so we're doing this video on how to record depreciation in QuickBooks Online. Doing it because a lot of clients have requested it. They don't, they struggle with recording depreciation when their tax accountant asks uh, them to do so in QuickBooks Online. So let's do it right now. So first thing you're gonna do is, uh, of course you have to make sure that your accounts are set up properly, fixed asset accounts, um, as you can see on my screen, computers and equipment, computer and equipment cost and accum accumulated depreciation account. Furniture and fixture cost and accumulated depreciation on the same. First, you have to make sure, and if you don't know how to set these up, you can go watch my video, which shows you clearly how to set up these accounts in QuickBooks Online. Anyway, let's record the depreciation. So you will click on new journal entry. Okay, so let's say depreciation. So we record the depreciation at the end of the year. You could do so monthly as well if you um, if you want to do it. But I'm doing it yearly here. So first thing we do is let's say your tax accountant gives you the depreciation a total of five thousand, and three thousand is supposed to go into furniture and fixture and 2000 is for computer and, uh, computers, computer and equipment. So we will record the depreciation expense here. We'll say depreciation, depreciation for 2023 is 5,000. You'll put a memo here. You don't have to, you could if you want to. Depreciation for 2023, okay. We will pick the account for computer and equipment. So this is where it goes. You don't reduce the actual cost of computer and equipment that we leave alone, but we do pick this account computer and equipment accumulated depreciation. And we said $2,000 is for computer and equipment. Then we have furniture and fixture, same thing. We say $3,000 is for that. And that's it. This is what we're going to do. This is depreciation expense. Your asset is being reduced by 2,000 here, 3,000 here, but you don't post these reductions into actual cost account. You post it to uh, the contra account that we have created, furniture and fixture accumulated depreciation, computer and equipment accumulated depreciation. And that's it, this is how you would record it. Uh, if you wanna attach, again, if you wanna attach any kind of backup, a uh, screenshot of email from your tax account or something or anything else, you could do so here. And that's it, you would save it. And that's it, we're done with the journal entry. And now if you look at the balance sheet report, we're going to go to this year's balance sheet. This is how it shows up. $2,000 computer equipment cost, $2,000 accumulated depreciation, $5,000 cost of furniture and fixture, and $3,000 of accumulated depreciation. Now, furniture and fixtures main account, uh, again, only function of that is to show you the net balance of furniture and fixture. Right here, you can see it's $2,000 net. And that's it.